Hey everyone, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are playing some more historic here on Arena. And we have a sweet deck for you today. We're going to get back to our roots. We're going to be playing big mono red. And you know what? We're going to do something different today. We're going to hop right into the video. And as you can see, we are playing a deck called Ancestral Bombardment. So this deck is a typical, you know, mono red, just a big red deck that we love to play here on the channel. But we're just going to try out, I really wanted to try out a, a more like artifact heavy build, but I really wanted to focus on a way to potentially play Haphazard Bombardment because I really, really enjoy playing Haphazard Bombardment. But then I also wanted to see if I could reuse Haphazard Bombardment. So instead of playing four copies, we're essentially going to be playing six copies because we are playing two copies of Ancestral Statue. This is a card I don't think I've ever actually played on the channel. And it's while it's not a great card on the surface, it's a four mana, three, four. Um, it does have a unique ability, which it just says whenever it enters the battlefield, you get to return a non-land permanent you control to its owner's hand. So what I was thinking is at the time of building this is that we could play ha Haphazard Bombardment. If we only had one, obviously we're going to get three triggers off of this. We're going to kill three permanents, and then it's going to be sitting there doing nothing. So then why not, you know, just play Ancestral Statue, bounce it, and replay it, and then get some more triggers off of it. So... Um, I thought it was an interesting idea, so we kind of rolled with this, and then, you know what, this deck actually ended up being really, really great, it's a lot of fun, and, and again, right, at, a, at its core, it's a it's a mono, it's a big mono red deck, it has, you know, what we love to be doing in the form of Lotus Field, Blood Sun, Star of Extinction, Haphazard Bombardment, um, and then at the same time, right, we, we're playing three copies of Chandra, Awaken Inferno, because Chandra is not only a potential board wipe for um, those really low to the ground aggressive decks <clears throat> as long as they're not playing elementals but we it is also target removal it's also a way to end the game because we can start putting emblems on our opponent and then those emblems will you know very slowly but they will progressively go faster and faster we're just going to be able to take our opponent out that way we do have some removal in the form of anger of the gods being able to deal three damage to each creature and right now this is even better because a lot of people are playing the um, the Undying deck with um, that Golgari deck with Yogmoth. So this is going to get rid of those Undying cards and Persist cards because whenever they die, they will be exiled. So this is good. We are playing Burn Down the House just in case we need to deal five damage to everything. And then on top of that, we do have a little bit of targeted removal because we have three copies of a braid. This is great because it deals with creatures and then also deals with artifacts because, again, in Historic, we're seeing a bunch of just busted artifacts and we do kind of need a way to address these. So, um, last but not least, I do want to hit on the rest that we have. We have, you know, four copies of Mindstone for ramp. Ramp is always important in decks like this, right? We want to, we want to potentially play turn two Mindstone, and then turn three, we have that three mana available. Tap that for the Blood Sun. Play Lotus Field and have three more mana available to potentially maybe even play either an Anger if we need an Anger to wipe the board, or a Palantir of Ornthok. Uh, a great card for red. It is, um, it, it is an artifact. It lets us draw cards every turn, or our opponent is going to mill cards, and they're going to take damage for what they mill based on the casting cost of those cards. So um, while this is legendary, this does you know really generate a lot of great um, card advantage, and it's just a way to end the game. Uh, we also have two copies of Cosmos Elixir. Again, the same way. This is going to mitigate you know that early damage that we might take from those aggressive decks, <clears throat> at the same time setting up our draws to potentially wipe the board or to stabilize and just start taking control. And last but not least, in this deck, we are playing the One Ring. I do want to highlight this card has been recently nerfed as of today, as of when I'm filming this. So this card is the exact same as it was before, except for all they did was add the um, one mana to tap it to draw the cards. So um, yeah, all they did was just basically make it cost one more. So essentially, they're turning off the ability that when you play it, you can't you know, if you have four mana uh, only to play it, you can't tap it <clears throat> um, just to draw the cards, right? You have to actually have that one extra mana. This is a laughable nerf. Uh, again, it's not really going to make a difference. This card is still super busted. But I do want to, um, you know, let you all know that when you watch the video um, or all the gameplay from this from this deck, this was pre-nerf. Um, and we didn't even know the nerfs was happening. So it is what it is. Um, but again, this deck is still insane with the one ring and the one ring still needs to be addressed in such a different way but i don't think it's ever going to happen on arena unfortunately at least maybe not in the foreseeable future 
But yeah, with that being said, this is the deck. And again, I just want to remind everybody, if you enjoy the deck, the channel, the video, please like, comment, subscribe, check out all the cool links down below, join the Discord, and hop on over to twitch.tv slash bamatumbo, and you could bring your deck ideas to the channel, and we will play them and turn them into a video. So I would love to hear your ideas and see what uh, see what y'all have been brewing up, and I would be more than happy to uh, to highlight that. But yeah, let's hop into the gameplay. We're, you're going to see a lot of really awesome games, a lot of just fun. And uh, yeah, we got a so we have got a, a surprise uh, a surprise game from somebody in the chat as well. So yeah, let's hop in and we'll see you all at the wrap up. We go first. I mean, if we draw land, we're gonna be kind of off to the races here. What is that? Come on, deck. One time. Give me a mountain. One time. Let's tap another creature, right? Oh, my God. Game, what is the deal? Man, I'm not going to sit here and not play land, so... All right, Rocklips, good hanging out. You know, it'd be good in Anger of the Gods. I mean, if we were going to draw any land there, right? can mill it take six what is that last card in their hand there's just one drop green are they just doing uh they might just be doing like a quest right like one of their dailies Oh, it's so tempting. God, the, the ring is just too good of a card. All right, well, you want to take 10? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you sure do. Love it, love it. I mean, there's no way our opponent doesn't scoop here, right? When we cast this anger. Coward. <laughs> they did the scoop, though. No, oh, there we go. They, it, it happened. They finally scooped. Perfect draw incoming. Eh. It's all right. <laughs> it was Mr. Ferguson. It was Mr. Ferguson. All right, are you playing colorless with your colorless sleeves over there? Oh, red, okay. 
Because, like, I'm more concerned with who these, like, mono-red burn players are that... Steve. Did I do it? Did I pronounce it correctly? My opponent didn't have land drop number two. So we're going to get played with fire. Uh, I predict that the top card is a land. Always, you always mill the first one, right? Like that's just that's just the the rule. It feels like. <clears throat> oh, you're playing black red. All right. Oh, they're playing Jund. Okay. Oh, it's Minion of the Mighty. Okay. Do we do it? Oh, Steve, come back. Oh, I did break his heart. It's all Paul. Oh, Paul, what are you doing in here? You, you said, <laughs> oh, come get it. Oh my God. I need to aggressively mulligan against you now. Don't be, don't be looking at my, don't be looking at my screen. You can listen to what I say. Just don't, don't look at my screen. I think I'm going to mulligan. Oh. Chef's kiss. I have no idea what what Paul's playing. I can't believe Paul sniped me. What a what a sniper. Hold on. He can't he can't see me. If I cover my if I cover my face, he can't see me. I swear, I swear to God, if you if you play a minion of the mighty deck against me, uh, I might flip my table. What is your what is your what is your deck? Um, hold on. I might want this. Yeah, I do want this actually. Oh, do you have a primeval titan in your hand? Oh no! Oh, what are you doing? Oh no, you're playing. Oh, uh, should I kill that? This seems very expensive, but I feel like I have to. I'm sorry, Paul. Oh, I'm glad I did. I get to draw a card here. What are you doing? Oh, no. Oh, no. This could be anything. Okay, I'm fine with that. Uh-oh. Incoming. I'm sorry. Oh! 
Oh, hey, we drew into it. I'm going to leave that there. Oh no. He oh, he attacked me so hard. All right. It has begun. Need that. No, you're just getting getting all the lands. I'm sorry, Paul. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't worry, we're we're getting all the blood suns. Hey, if you're if you're listening to me, I drew another blood son. He uh, BB livid. He he got lucky and sniped us. Holy. Um. Well. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, you know what? I'm not sorry, Blood Sun. It has begun. Felt like I was drawing just too many cards against you. Uh oh. Fear the elf. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm here? I mean, we came here to cast some haphazard bombardments. Pew pew. Ooh, another one. Okay. Like I said, we're here to do this. We're here to shut them down. Oh, I love you too, friend. Thanks for being a good sport.
<laughs> Are you kidding me? Don't even. Don't even with that your go stuff. Thinking. <laughs> All right, good game, good game, Paul. Good game. Don't worry, I got another one. I'm gonna kill my uh, my elixir. <laughs> oh, good game, good game. I appreciate you more than you know. Baba Yaga. Oh, uh, we go first. I mean, it's worth a shot here. I mean, this hand gets insane if we draw a Lotus Field. Oh no, our creatures. Your MTG client's been slow lately. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah, it was... There. There's an event going on this weekend. I want to play this. Uh, I really wish I could have just drawn a... Oh, you're going to do a draft today? That's cool. Don't play any more creatures, please. Alright, perfect. Five mana. Oh, man. Six mana. I mean, I could just get this out. Minus three. I think we are going to do that. I mean, we're going to get at least a couple of ticks with this Chandra. Level 2. What does level 2 do? Whenever you gain life, put a counter on something. So they have to attack Chandra, right? If attacking us doesn't do anything. So this goes down to 3. I think I'm going to I think I'm going to draw one. Oh, okay. Well. Oh, beautiful. Go ahead and poke this back up. Let's draw a couple cards. Um, yeah, why not, right? So we're going to get at least one more ping off of this Chandra, which is really good. And then three damage a turn um, for a few turns. We'll just close this out. Okay, never mind. I wonder if they go after us or go after Chandra. All right, well, let's draw a few cards. And let's go ahead and kaboom. All right, 
right, we're just going to say go. Uh, yeah. Yes, please. The wedding announcement? It's a little annoying. I think we should be good from here on out. Go back up to 20. Uh, we don't really need another land, even though it's a lot of mana. Don't be a creature. Oh, not my, not my ring. I think we're I think we're okay, team. Picking away at the land. Yeah. <clears throat> Just gonna ping them out. Ooh, that was a good game. Alright, do you have a do you have a draft token or are you gonna spend like gold or gems? Opponent goes first. I do have an abrade. I guess I'm going to keep this. Ugh. Maybe it's regular elves and not um, devotion. No, it's devotion. Oh, no. It might be regular elves. I'm going to kill this. Who do they? Oh, they're gonna they're gonna concede here, right? Should I should I like sit here for a second thinking about what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I mean, probably not. All right. Yeah, they just I mean they didn't draw land, right? So I, I feel a little bit bad for them. Oh, this is a mulligan. That's unfortunate. Oh, remember when we put you on the bottom? I remember. Hold on. Oh, look, there you are. So this is just this is just Demir control, I think. Thought sees, okay. Get this counter out of their hand. Sure. I mean if they're using a counter on that, completely fine.
Um, yeah, we're not going to we're not going to be able to win this. We're not drawing a land. Uh, you actually could have let us draw there because we don't get to draw. So I think that's a little bit of a misplay. That Narset was actually pretty good. Ooh, counters a red or green spell with mana value six or less. Six or less? That's insane. They're just like snap milling. I wonder if it's forcing us, forcing them to mill. I'm not going to draw here. Another one ring. Oh, it's a little, uh, a little upsetting. Alright, they're gonna shoulder Z Dick. Oh no, okay. Sure. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Oh, another ring. Oh my gosh, this is this isn't annoying at all. Okay. So we're definitely playing this. We're definitely playing this. I guess we could have played the Mind Stone too, like before we cast everything. Uh, 
All right, so they have at least one change the equation. Really? So that's a fun interaction, I think, that we learned. If Narset prevents you from drawing, I think you have to mill against the Palantir. Interesting. So they can't they can't choose for us to draw cards. So so Narset actually lost them the game because it was it forced them to right there take uh 17, 18, exactly 20. So that was fun. Um, I got a mulligan this, I think. All right, we'll keep this. Rut row. Elvish Mystic, not a good sign. They're going to go faster than we're going to go. I, okay, that was a, that was an insane draw right there. Insane draw. Uh oh, you're not gonna be happy in a second. Play another one drop. I know you got another one drop. You're just gonna hit it for five. All right, let's <clears throat> let's start this party over. I need to find land. Yeah, it's pretty good. 5-5 five, five now. Go down to 12, then we'll go back up to 14. We'll... Oh, that's exactly that's exactly what we need right now. This is exactly what we don't need right now. Yeah, we don't, we don't take any damage. Uh, I might have to kill that. Oh, uh, what a draw. Holy crap. Holy crap. That was insane. Yeah, sorry, Slippy. That was an insane draw right there. Whew. All right, opponent. Oh, we're just waiting on you. Opponent, where are you? You're just going to leave your dragon friend over here all by himself?
There we go, finally. They've spell pierce. Nope. Come on, opponent. Interesting. Okay. Oh, human and non-human. All right. Seems good. Pay one mana, draw two, put a 1-1 one, one into play. Seems really good. <laughs> a good draw. It's unfortunate. <laughs> Did not think they were just gonna <clears throat> Mill. All right, so now they're just going to start with the burn. All right, well, it was a fun game while it lasted. Yeah, I really would have liked to hit that Lotus Field. To the top. I don't like that. Shh. Maybe we can just 20 our opponent. Nope. And by 20, I mean just five. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. We're at eight. We're at a potential four. Uh, that was a good draw, but I don't think we're going to get out of it. No, uh, that was okay. That was a good draw. They sack them all to the bombardment. Oh, we're at two. I think I have to not play this Blood Sun. And then just hope that the top of our library is just an insane amount of damage.
Come on, Mill. Yes! Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Huzzah! They thought they were going to win. Ah, uh, whew. Got him. That feels good. All right, welcome back to the wrap up. And again, uh, Ancestral Bombardment was great. Um, I do feel like we didn't really ever really get to do our combo with Ancestral Statue and Haphazard Bombardment. I do think we picked up the ring once or twice in order to reset the counters. Um, but other than that, it didn't really do, it really didn't do much. Again, we're only playing two, so I, I knew it wouldn't really do much. Um, but I do want to highlight, right, we got a game against uh, Tall Paul, um, one, of, one of our friends from... Uh, from you know local to my area as well as the stream and um also um it was a stream snipe uh that was not a deliberate pairing we did not like go to match you know i did not go to try to match with him he he stream sniped me he got in unfortunately he had to take a couple mulligans i believe it was and then uh the draws didn't really line up especially for uh against a deck that is just you know trying to uh, wipe the board as many times as possible and kind of take control. So uh, in in that regards, uh, Paul, I am sorry, but thank you so much for being a good sport. That was uh, a lot of fun to play. Uh, I enjoyed the uh, the friendly banter, um, you know, with the emotes and whatnot. And then and then afterwards, you know, coming into chat and, you know, going back and forth. It was a lot of fun um, as always. So um, but yeah, this deck is great. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Ancestral Statue, obviously not what we were trying to uh, didn't really pan out what we were trying to do. Um, but it was still fun to, uh, to give it a shot. And that's what I love about magic, right? Is there are just so many, uh, countless iterations of decks that you can play. You know, you can make a tweak here and a tweak there and the deck may function, um, almost identical. Um, but that those one or two or even four extra uh, different cards that you're putting in your deck, they could just completely change how your deck plays. So, uh, other than that, you know, it's, it's just, it's a lot of fun to get in there and play and especially get back to, uh, to the, the roots of the channel, play this, uh, big red, you know, Blood Sun Lotus Field, a uh, lot, a lot of fun. Uh, but I, I enjoyed the deck. Let me know it, uh, if you enjoyed it. Let me know if I maybe missed a card that I could have maybe paired with Ancestral Statue or if maybe if there was a better option that I could have done to do some like crazy mono red type bouncing with Haphazard Bombardment, something along those lines. I uh, would love to hear it. But yeah, uh, again, if you enjoyed the deck, the channel, the video, please like, comment, subscribe. Check out all the cool links down below. Join the Discord. Hop on over to Twitch, twitch.tv slash Matumbo. And yeah, bring your deck ideas, and I would love to, like I said uh, in the intro, turn your deck into a video on the channel. But with that being said, everyone, please stay safe, and we will see you all next time.